All right. Here's a speech. Pay attention. I'm in the middle of six annoying things, and neither of us want you to become number seven. When you boarded, you got four basic field kits. Solid armad equipment, no frills. Enough to do your job. You got setups for rifle, heavy weapons, tech, and medical. Based on the missions you complete, you get assigned requisition credits. You come to me, ask for the equipment, and if you got the credits, I fabricate it for you. You can requisition new weapons, or attachment for weapons, or consumables. Special ammunition, sentry guns, mines, whatever. I let marines pick their own gear. You deploy with the wrong shit, you're the one who bites it, not me. Talk to your fire team, work out who's doing what. You're in the field, boot. When you get back to port, hit the commissary or exchange. <laughs> That's my official answer. Between you, me, and the bulkhead, I also got a special inventory. Stuff to personalize your gear. I don't take requisition credits for that. We got an unofficial system. Anybody asked, just say you tactically acquired it. So long as your rep's good, I think we can come to an arrangement. I was asked to summarize Dr. Honecker's debriefing for you. He was assigned to Palace Station, a Wayland yutani research facility on the surface of LV-895. The Palace Station team developed weapons from Xenomorph XX-121. In particular, they explored the effects of a mutagenic agent. Xenomorphs and other test subjects were loosed by a containment breach. The majority of the staff perished. Unclear. Small amounts were delivered by the company. The science team was not told its origin. They referred to it as pathogen. As biogenetics is not Dr. Honecker's specialty, he is unable to provide details. No, his degree is in archaeology. He claims he was lured here by the promise of access to alien artifacts. Pardon, to be clear, I refer to artifacts from a technologically advanced alien civilization, not Z. Given that humanity has never recorded conclusive evidence of a tool using alien civilization, Dr. Honecker was understandably intrigued. Dr. Honecker and some of his colleagues fled Pala Station in a shuttle. It launched on a pre-programmed course to Katanga. Unfortunately, two creatures stowed aboard. They killed one and you met the other, the mutated xenomorph he called Monica. The doctor was the only survivor. There was discord between the science team and Wayland yutanis manager, Administrator Bellows. In particular, Mr. Bellows ordered the use of human convicts to breed xenomorphs. Dr. Honecker doubtless hoped we had taken his employers into custody to face charges. You are familiar with the xenomorph reproductive process? It was gestated within a woman named Monica. Dr. Honecker seems unwilling to discuss it further. Should you wish to review, I will keep the information on file for you.
I'm Ibrahim Savani, Colonial Marines Intelligence, Surveillance and Recon Service. Yes, most Marines call us Kamisars. No, we're not as bad as you've heard. Katanga has over 80 years of history, but the interesting bit is from 25 years ago. Its owners seek some company, reported the refinery was destroyed. Yet, here it floats, in a system controlled by Sikhs and rival, Wayland Yutani. We compiled information on threats to the United Americas and provide it to the Corps to act on. Our sources range from battlefield recon to cyber warfare. Some believe we have spies everywhere, but that's simply not true. If everyone worked for us, who would we spy on? <laughs> that, that, that was a joke. <laughs> we, we joke sometimes. In the previous century, they were a moderately large interstellar corporation. They even had aspirations of competing with Wayland Yutani. Sikson invested heavily in space facilities. In 2174, they purchased Katanga from its previous owner. The refinery was refit and towed to the mid brim. Katanga was originally constructed 82 years ago by Kinshasa Enterprise Diatat Minier, the state mining enterprise of the DR Congo. In 2070, Kinetat fell under sanction by the United Americas Assembly. They had sold resources to the revolutionary forces during the Haiti's revolts. To survive the financial losses, they auctioned off their space assets. That's when Sigson purchased Katanga. Unclear. The ICC logged that Sigson scuttled it due to irreparable damage. There are no details on the cause or scope of that damage. You'd expect insurers to demand that. I'm following up with Central. If we learn something you need to know, you'll be informed. Much like what Hanukkah had to say, Waylon Yutani ran Katanga like a fucking ant farm. Used androids to bring up animals from the moon, left them on the refinery for the Xenos, took the eggs back down to the lab. There's a queen aboard Katanga, laying those eggs. SOP says, Phew, that's when you pull out and file an insurance claim. We'll deal with Katanga later. Right now, Colonel Ship wants us down on LV-895. Hanukkah says some Whalen Yutani people disappeared before his group evac. Could be there's other survivors looking for rescue. You could get the details on the surface conditions from Lieutenant Ko. She'll be flying you and Herrera down. If you're here to move ordnance, there's a power loader in the back. If you're not, don't bother me. Our landing zone's a couple of clicks from Pala Station, at the base of the mountains to the west. You won't need any special gear. The environment is close enough to Earth. There's native life, but you probably won't have to worry about it. The Xenos that Honaker's idiot employers let loose are a bigger threat. Pala's the source of the Xeno outbreak? I had enough bugs on my canopy in Katanga's hangar, thanks. Can't believe Herrera wouldn't let me fire missiles. You'd have ducked. Esther says there's tunnels in the mountains near our LZ. Colonel Ship thinks it's the direction any survivors would run, and the Commissars agree with her. Well, around Pala Station, the air's about Earth normal. Pressure 908 millibars, little heavier on CO2. No obvious toxins or allergens. Take the regulation antihistamines anyway. If you end up climbing a mountain, you'll have a problem. Low-lying areas have thick atmo, but it attenuates fast. A lot like Mars after we terraformed it. Gravity is 0.92. That's... odd. But it means you won't notice any difference from shipboard artificial grav. The diameter of LV-895 is just under 9,000 clicks. Three quarters the size of Earth. That small, but 92% Earth's gravity doesn't add up. To get that gravity, the moon would need to be made of something stupid, like 50% iron or full of radioactives. Something real dense, you know? But our readings say conventional rock mix. Only rumors leaking out of Honaker's debrief. Something about big color-changing cats. According to Whalen yutanis officially filed survey data, we're orbiting a barren rock. No life, prebiotic atmo. 
You can look out a porthole and see that's wrong. Or a lie. A shirt sleeve's habitable world, no terraforming needed, low investment, high return. Maybe they didn't declare it to avoid competition. Just remember, Wayland managers tend to store profit margins and promotion tracks where their brains should be. If you run into any, watch your back. Marines, we're heading down to LV-895. The Weyland yutani Surface Lab was overrun by Xenos, but there may be survivors. The closest shelter is the mountain caves to the west. You repel into the caverns for search and rescue. Marines, we're heading down to LV-895. The Weyland yutani Surface Lab was overrun by Xenos, but there may be survivors. The closest shelter is the mountain caves to the west. You repel into the caverns for search and rescue. Check your fire. Remember, we're looking for friendlies. This isn't a cave. It's block construction. A company bunker, maybe. Survivors, get moving. A lot of whaling shit down here. Some kind of auxiliary base, fall back position. Everyone get this intel? Weird door. A life terminal. See if you can pull any logs. Fucking 
itself. Rearming.
Patching up. Make it here. Patching up. There's a big console up on the side. Check that for me. Workplace incident files. Missing crew. Casualties? Sounds like they got drones loose in here. Hey, Rich, you're trespassing on Wayland Utani property. This is the Colonial Marines. You from Pala Station? Yes, I'm Security Chief Cynthia Rodriguez. You're in danger here, Marines. Yeah, no kidding. We're here to rescue you. survivors. out. Grabbing ammo. Grabbing ammo. Ah, 
Get eyes on this. The overhang, we couldn't see this on approach. Eight kids here. Patching up.
Sonic Canyon. Somebody take the gear.